coming at you live from Super Duper Danny headquarters. Was that weird? I think it was. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for part number two of our Pokemon Cosmic Eclipse booster box. If y'all missed part one, you're gonna wanna check that out. Seriously, guys, I cannot remember the last time we've gotten that crazy of pulls right from the get-go. That was absolutely freaking insane. So here we are, once again, brand new setup. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a sexy pack pick. This pack is gonna contain the best card of the entire opening right here. That's the one. So we're gonna save that pack for last. That one's gonna have our baby tag team trio right there. So yeah, guys, brand new setup. We're doing a little top down shot. We got a crispy new camera. Once again, we're, we're feeling it. We are feeling it. So yeah, I still wanna know. I'm still curious what you guys think of the new setup. Let me know if you like it, if you don't like it, if you'd rather see more, you know, plushes and whatever in the background. We do got Picavani. This is our, our fun little play mat. And I do actually have a series of play mats. Like I have quite a few different play mats, so we can definitely like kind of alternate them, switch them up change them and do whatever so i don't know well that we might have fun doing that too but uh yeah you don't get to see the plushies i don't know we got an alolan meowth and oh a swishy swashy gx right there out of our first pack we got a nice gx card right there to start off your day with a nice balanced breakfast what i don't know but uh yeah guys at the end of this video we are gonna go ahead and do a recap of what we got out of all 36 packs and i will say like we seriously we've gotten out of the first part i'm not gonna spoil any specific Specifics. I will say we got a freaking secret rare and we got a rainbow rare out of the first half of these packs like among other things It was seriously oh so crazy. So you're gonna watch me go bananas check that out But uh, yeah, we did get this box from core TCG you guys. It's a comic shop here in California They were nice enough to send us this entire box. So I'm seriously I'm so grateful if you want to check them out Their link is down in the description below. They have a ton of Pokemon stuff on their site We got slurp off the slurple derple. I didn't know see I saw Swirlix. I was really hoping that Slurpux, Slurpux, Slurpuff was in here. Didn't know for sure until today. What is going on with this card artwork? Um, the world may never know. I guess he's just going on a picnic. A cute little Slurpuff picnic. I can dig it. Also, guys, not gonna lie, this new camera angle gets like so, like it's so clean and crisp that it's like making me self-conscious about my hands. Like I will probably start painting my nails just so I feel like less weird about having my fingers like put on blast up here. I'm just hiding my fingers this whole time. Oh, Misty and Lorelei. Cool. Oh, girl, what is you doing? Misty always be busting it down like Tatiana. I don't know what her deal is. Like, she's just being weird lately. I don't know, man. Misty, what you trying to say, girl? We got a spiel. We got a katani. We also got a Rowlet, a reverse as a Larvesta, and our rare is a Sylveon. Regular rare, I guess. Presumably a regular rare. Cool. All right. Well, that one's cute. We have not seen that Sylveon yet. Good one to add to the collection up to this point. However, I'm sure we will get plenty more of those rares as we continue to open up our uh, our Cosmic Eclipse packs. Uh, if not after this booster box, of course, there will be more unboxings with the Elite Trainer box, whatever other promo boxes come out. You know, who knows? I might even get another Cosmic Eclipse booster box. Only time will tell. We got a Flabay Bay. Hey, Bay Bay. We got a Coughing Reverse and a Sunflora. All right, some Flora regular rare, guys. We are on a couple pack drought here, but let's see if Piplup and Blastoise can come through and save the old day. I'm counting on you, buddies. I'm counting on you. All right, let's see. Code card for you. Like it and let me know what you got that code down in the comment section below. If you did manage to snag it, once again, if you guys want a better chance of getting those codes and seeing these videos right when they go live, be sure to turn on your notifications. That way you know, guys, you never miss a piece of Super Duper Danny content. We got a Buzz Swole Reverse Rare and oh nice a Raichu. Is that just a, re it's a regular rare? However, I feel like that would look awesome in holographic. So I don't know what's up with Raichu's face. Looks a little weird. Do have to admit, maybe it's just the angle. Maybe we just caught her on a weird day. But uh, cool. It looks like Raichu's on a uh, skyscraper right there overlooking the brand new Poke Cite in all of its glory. So <laughs> cool. Great. Superb. What is happening? Oh my goodness. Okay. Weird pack. That means there's going to be something good in this pack if it opens like completely discombobulated like that. Unbelievable. All right. Here we go, guys. We got a steel energy. Oh, nice. A chaotic swell. Very cool. 
an amulet. We got a sveal, katani, a hraulet, rapidash, revers, and a dragalg. It's been a while since I've seen dragalg, so I must say that uh, it's refreshing to say the least. I really got it. So I'm gonna really overdo it on the R roll and you're gonna never wanna hear me do that ever again. If you're not sick of it already, I don't know, you, you bound, you're bound to be sick of it soon. <laughs> okay, here we go. Another pack here, I saw that code. I've been trying to like hide the code so I don't see if it's like got the potential to have some spicy goodness, but like that, it's just like right in your face, right when you open the pack. I wish it was facing the other way. That'd be great. We got a Dupiter, we got a Stoutland. Reverse and our rare is <laughs> a Rosa, a Rosa holographic. All right, guys, we might have blown all of our good luck in the first part, but I have a feeling, even though we've only gotten a GX and a holographic, I feel like the last half of this half, okay, so this quarter of the booster box has some heat in it, okay, has some fire. I'm thinking we're gonna get at least one more, either a trainer full art or a regular GX full art, not a regular full art. That's a GX full art out of this box in addition to maybe at least one more GX, I'm thinking. If not more than that, because this is a crap ton of packs, you know, we got a Dartrix, Kazumoem, very cool, Tepig. Ooh, ooh, talking to Maru, Onyx, you're freaking kidding. This is our third Mimikyu holographic and an Entei. Oh, that's actually really cool. Nice, I love this pose, man, it's crazy. All right, I'll take it. So I know there's a lot of these. I know there is quite a few of these character trainer arts right here. It's like a Pokemon with its trainer right there and it comes in the reverse spot. But we've gotten three of the Mimikyu and only one other one. So weird. I don't know. Are you guys experiencing something similar? Let me know in the comments. I uh, I don't know. It just seems odd that I keep getting that same one. Unless Mimikyu, for some odd reason, is just really common for that one. Who knows? Okay. Only time will tell. I just like had to hold back a burp that was like in my throat. What a weird predicament. Okay. Here we go. Throat burps are throat burps, after all. We got a roller skater, Clefairy, and oh, Fawn Carvana. Ho ho. Ah, oh, I love that. Cute little Azuril with his little crocheted tail there. I mean, the whole thing was crocheted, but his tail looked very cute. Yang Mo O. -Oh, the second art of Yang Mo O. -Oh, the first one, he's biting his little ball tail. It's very cute. We had a Weavile. It's a rare right there. But yeah, the other art. I think I like the other art of Yang Mo O -Oh better. It's actually quite, quite adorable. All right, here we go. Next pack, Solgaleo and Lunala. Don't let us down, legendary boys. Yeah, are you guys hype for Sword and Shield? So it's dawning on me now. Like, this is November. It's November, okay? The game literally comes out in like two weeks or less. I'm not sure. It's very, very close to coming out. So are you guys excited? Which game are you getting? Are, do you have to buy a Switch? Have you bought your Switch yet? Because uh, I know a lot of people are buying the Switch Lite. A lot of people might just buy a regular Nintendo just to get this game. I uh, I bought the, I caved and I bought the Pokemon edition last year. So I have my Pokemon Switch. It's all ready to go. I think I'm going to get Sword. All right. I think I'm going to get Sword. But let me know which game you think you're going to get. Or if you're going to get both. Or if you're going to get none of them. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm curious to know. We got a Hakamo. Oh, ew. And a Vile Plume GX. That is freaking adorable. Oh, I love that. And Erica's in the back just like being all graceful. Like, don't mind me, darling. I'm Erica. The colors on this are exquisite and very elegant. Why did I use such big words? I sound like a total nerd. Exquisite and elegant it is. I'm not taking it back, okay? We got the Fragrant Flower Garden, Massive Bloom, an Allergic Explosion. Oh my gosh, every single spring, guys. Every single spring, an Allergic Explosion. I don't want to talk about it. It's also called a sneeze. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Why am I so annoying, man? I'm like, I'm not, but I am. I don't know. Some people think I'm funny. I just, you know what? I'm just gonna live my life. I'm just gonna sing the Indiana Jones theme song and live my life, okay? Y'all can't tell me how to do nothing. We got a Carvana, Chin Chow, and another, and another adorable Azuril, Rufflet, Oddish, Armaldo is our reverse right there. And a Crabobitable, Regina Rare. Ew. I mean, he's actually, you know what? Yeah. You know, I was going to say not ew, but yeah, like ew. 
He's fun though. He's like a cute, like look at his cute little face. I don't know, I, you know, it's weird because I feel like I have not like that closely analyzed what Crabominable looks like. He's a fun looking guy, you know? Pokemon, all right, I applaud you on that. Okay, you see this artwork right here. You see the triple tag team. You see the Togepi, Cleffa, and Igglybuff. Well, that's what we're gonna get out of this pack right here. Seriously, guys, that's the one, my number one want from this set. I know it's kind of basic, okay? I understand. It's like, it's the three babies, but like, they're my babies, and I freaking love Togepi. I love, you know, Cleffa and Igglybuff are so cute. So if we get, if we freaking pull that, I will, I don't know. I'm gonna go bananas, okay? Nose pass, snow run. Skrelp, and oh, Naganadel and Guzzlord. Whoa, oh, that is gross. See, I feel like the ones we've been pulling are just like so fierce and intense. Like, my God, look at these guys. I would not want to get into a fight with those. So this Ultra Beast, guys, 280 HP. Y'all gotta be kidding me with this. Like Pokemon cards, they're just getting too strong these days. I understand why like the rotation is a thing. Well, one, you just gotta keep everything fun and interesting. But two, like you try to put up an old school card up against this guy and he's done. He's freaking done. Oh man, but yeah, no, I like the way that they do do like the rotational thing in Pokemon because like I've uh, I've played in some tournaments where it's like you can use expanded decks and um, it really like it. There's so many contradictory things that you can do. Like you can just completely break somebody else's deck with what you got just based on like using abilities and moves from like so many different generations. So I understand why they uh, they just cut it off to like the most recent set of cards. It makes sense and it also is good like because get you to buy more and what are we doing we're buying more always we got a Togedomaru and a Whimsicott regular rare all right Whimsicott I see ya I see ya guys we got five packs left including our sexy pack pick so one of these last five is gonna have that rainbow rare full art or a full art or whatever it's got it has you know what I mean we're getting at least one more super duper shiny GX I can feel Feel it. All right, tag call. I feel like that's the first time. It can't be the first time we've seen that. I don't know. I don't recall seeing it, but I'm sure I've seen it around. Dark tricks. What you doing, my dude? Talking to Maru. Looking all cute. Very nice. Just got that one in reverse. We got a trap inch. Flub baby. Also got a Tangela. Duskull. Our reverse is a Celio, and our rare is oh my gosh, yo, Mallow and Lana Full Art. You guys. This is absolutely stunning. Look at them. Okay, real quick, as per usual, guys, we gotta analyze this wood for the texture. Oh, yo. This one, I give a solid, guys, a solid 9.5 on the texturometer. And I just made that up, but I feel like this one has, like, it has way more than some of the other textured ultra rares we've gotten so far. I love these little, you know, these little facial mark things. I don't even know what they're called. Like, ah, expression marks? That's what we're calling them expression marks. Yep. Oh man, this might be my favorite card that we've pulled so far. This is gorgeous. I gotta take a look at the full list of the trainer full arts because I honestly, like, I don't remember seeing this when I was looking through the set list, but like the background, the two of them together, the colors of their hair, this is just the whole kit and caboodle, guys. And we've still got four packs left. I don't know what we're gonna get out of these last four. I actually just spit a little bit. I have to admit, when I said four, I just like totally spit right at this camera so sorry about that also i just hit my microphone i am just a mess right now i'm just a mess i can't stop looking at the mallow and lana full art it's catching my eye and it is stunning all right guys here we go next pack right here oh the all-seeing eye i am spooked we got a probe pass with this fun little mustache oh, love that iggly buff oh she's so cute i actually really really like that card oh looking up at the moonlight it's so cute. Oh my, seriously, can we just take a moment? I'm sorry, we gotta backtrack for a minute. That is absolutely adorable. Ah, oh, Pokemon really, like they put in so much work into all of these artworks. Like each of these is individually crafted just for this. Like somebody commissioned that, somebody made that from scratch so they could put it on this Pokemon card. It's so great. So we got a Swana, Swana Lana. Ha, not too bad. Okay. Guys, I have to admit, I kind of forgot which one. No, this was a sexy pack pick. I was gonna say, I forgot which of these bottom packs was a sexy pack pick. For sure is that one. Okay, I have my life together, I promise. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Y'all can't tell me how to live my life. I don't think you were trying to. Honestly, I don't think anybody was trying to. 
Danny. What's your deal? All right, here we go. Seriously, I'm just like on cloud nine because I was not expecting to get this much heat out of this box. This is crazy, dude. Flabebe and a swooba. 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 I love how this one is like like colored pencil-esque. It's super colored pencil-esque. I don't know. That's really interesting. I see a Pokemon. All right, guys. Second to last pack. We got the Blastoise and Piplup. I have not seen this one in uh, in rainbow rare form. I've only seen the regular GX artwork of it. So I'm assuming that one also looks equally as stunning. Um, I, I find with like the rainbow rare ones, it's actually like harder to see what it actually is. Like it looks cool because it's just completely just like rainbow decked out. It's got the texture and all that. But like the actual card, you're like, what am I looking at? We got a Krigatot and a Steelix. Is that a hollow? It is. Okay, it's a holographic Steelix, but you can barely see it. Look at that. There she is. Nice. Cool. So I know they also make the uh, the character art for the Steelix. Hopefully we can pull that one because that one looks actually really freaking cool. Hello. This is it. This is our very last pack of the entire 36-pack booster box of Cosmic Eclipse. It is all down to this right here. This is going to be the best pull of the entire opening. I don't even know if that's possible, guys. Once again, we're going to do a recap and you're going to be like, oh my God, Danny, what is going on? Why have the Poke Gods blessed you with these dank pulls? I don't know. I don't know what I did to deserve this, but we're here. All right, Growly, bring her in. We're going to boop Growly Snoot. Boop for good Luke. Thank you, good man. Yeah, it's one of the things about this new uh, setup. Growlithe cannot, like he's not on screen because unless he was laying down, y'all wouldn't be able to see him. I don't know. All right, guys, this is it. Very last pack out of our booster box opening extravaganza. Let's see what we come through with right here. All right, we got a Mimic you, my dude. We got a Phantom. Oh, Grimer, very nice. Eevee, okay, Flabibi. We got, oh, cool, a Gallade. Oh, how nice. It's Wally with his Gallade. That's a happy, happy boy. And a Golurk, regular, rare. All right, so we finished strong with a character holographic. We did not actually, oh my God, why am I having trouble putting those in there? We did not pull like an absolute ton of these. We got more ultra rares than we did these character arts, which is kind of crazy. But I don't know, I guess that's just how the cookie crumbles. So here's what we got out of this part, guys. This is absolutely unexpected one. And also like, I'm just so happy. I'm seriously so happy with the pulls from this box. So I'm going to go ahead and do a recap. We're going to go ahead and get all of the cards from the entire booster box to show you guys what kind of absolute madness. And I'm talking straight up madness came from this 36 packs. All right, guys, right here. Oh, I'm already dropping them there, sliding away. We got the Great Catcher Secret Rare, which is fantabulous. I absolutely love that. They do a great job with the, the golden trainers there. Those are sick. We also got the Mallow and Lana Trainer Full Art Supporter right there, which you guys already know my thoughts on that. Mm, mwah. Fabulous. The Mega Low Bunny and Jigglypuff GX Rainbow Rare. I am pooping my pants over that one. We also got for our regular GXs, Naganadel and Guzzlord, Blastoise and Piplup. Once again, totally freaking adorable. Two Wishy Washies. I don't know. He looks so cute, but he's also like super derpy. I don't like, I like it, but it's just like a strange Pokemon to give a, you know, an ultra rare card to. I don't know. But we also got the Vile Flume GX right there with Erica in the back representing. Now here are the new character arts, which once again come in the reverse spot in the pack. We got four of those. We got the Gallade, we got a coughing, and we got two of these Mimic U's. I don't know what's up with that. It's right in time for spooky season though. I get it, I get it. And we also got four holographics to finish it off. So overall guys, absolutely, abso freaking lootly phenomenal pulls. This was from one booster box. I don't even, like, I honestly, like, don't even know what to say. Maybe, like, the pull rates are just great for this set. Maybe we've just been on an absolute hot streak. You guys let me know. But, you guys, that is it for our 36-pack Cosmic Eclipse booster box. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment down below, share it with your friends, do whatever it is that y'all does. But I do want to thank y'all for kicking it with me on this fine, fine day, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!